What's up guys, I'm Roxanne Avalon, and today the rich white guys strike again. Nope, not Donald Trump. We're gonna be taking a look at some of the big dollar car sales that went down over the weekend. We are also talking about electric vehicles. Good news for you hippies, they are going to get cheaper by the dozen. Da -da. And yep, Vin Diesel is going to be outacted by a machine. Yeah, it's not hard. Admit it, you've seen Triple X, we all have. We're not proud, but it happened. Stick around, this is Inside Cars. So let's start things off by talking about the weekend. No, not how drunk you got. We're talking about the cars that were sold for ridiculous amounts of money. Starting things off was the Lancia Aurelia that sold for $800 thousand dollars and also Clark Gable's Mercedes going going for 1.8 million yeah 1.8 mil a milli a milli a milli okay yeah seriously though that's a lot of money and you guys remember that Porsche 959 that we talked about a couple episodes back yeah well that Mac Daddy sold for 440 grand and the very first C7 Corvette sold for a whopping 1.1 million Dollars. Now, if you think about it, this is a car that's actually worth about $50,000, sold for $1.1 million. Yeah, people were getting their weekend on for show. Now, the biggest item up for grabs this weekend was the 1960s Batmobile. Yup, the Batmobile. And guess how much it sold for? Over $4 million. Yeah. Four mil, that actually happened. And if you're wondering what a 40 year old man looks like after he realizes he just spent $4 million on a Batmobile, take a look. Now, there was a tiny little shred of common sense that did occur at some point during the weekend when Craig Jackson, who is, you know, the major auctioneer behind, yep, you guessed it, Barrett Jackson, tried to make some money off of Carol Shelby's death. Allegedly. Yeah, you remember that. You can say anything you want as long as you say allegedly. Anyway, he put up a 1968 Shelby Mustang prototype on his own auction block and the car reached 1.8 million dollars. And he was like, nope, that's not enough. Seriously, not enough 1.8 million dollars? What were you hoping to do? Pay off the national debt? Buy an island? Come on, it's just a car. Well, going from big dollars to little dollars, some good news for all you hippies out there. EVs are going to be getting a lot cheaper. Nissan announced that the new Leaf is gonna be starting out at just 30K, and that's even without all of the tax breaks. Like for example, if you live here in California, you can get a brand new Leaf for just $20,000, right? That's awesome. I mean, it is a trade-off, right? You save some money, but you kind of still look like an idiot. I mean, let's face it. Saving the world and looking cool don't go hand in hand. You can't have it all. Now moving on, talking about something we haven't seen in a while. No, not the Lakers winning the game. Seriously, you guys need to step it up. We're talking about a cool looking Honda. Yep, that's right. The new gear is the sporty two-door hatchback, which looks oddly enough, kind of like a VW GTI. Now the car is just a design study for now, which means it's only for looks. And let's face it, that sucks because Honda's cars are in desperate need of a makeover. Please make this car into a reality. And now we're gonna talk about our guilty pleasures. We got to take a sneak peek at the star of the new Fast and Furious 6. And no, we're not talking about Vin. I'm in need of a blockbuster diesel. We're talking about SP Engineering's custom built R35 GTR. Now this Japanese monster has a buffed up Switzer twin turbo system, high priced ceramic brakes, as well as lightweight carbon body panels all around. Now exact specs aren't confirmed yet, but the factory model hits 60 in just 2.7 seconds, which means not only is this car totally awesome, it also means that I'll be waiting in line to see the Fast and Furious 6, like I have every other Fast and Furious. Don't tell anyone I said that. Well guys, that wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you like our video, subscribe to our channel, and of course, leave us some cute little comments down below. I'm Roxanne Avalon, and I'll see you next time on Inside Cars.